Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you how we have created this beautiful manufacturing production variance analysis dashboard in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, this is the overview page wherein we are showing the total production cost and this is the actual labor cost, actual material uses cost and this is the production cost variance and this is the material cost variance. So we are taking the standard cost or the target cost also. So we are comparing with the actual cost versus standard cost and we are calculating the variance and the variance percentage. Now here we are showing the labor cost variance by line. So we are taking the four various lines like line one, line two, line three and line four and you can see the comparison here. This is the standard labor cost versus actual labor cost by the shift. So we have three shifts and we can see the comparison here quickly. This is the standard production cost versus actual production cost by the plant. We are taking here three plants. This is the material cost variance percentage by the department like quality, packaging, maintenance and assembly. We have given here few slicers also like if you want to filter the data for a particular department you can just filter this you can see or for a particular plant just click on that and you can see the whole information on the top also okay so plant on plant or for any specific line of that plant you can see that all right now on the left hand side we have given the navigation pen so this is the overview page now let's go to the department analysis this is the department analysis page and here we are showing the labor cost variance by the department and you can see the labor cost variance by the packaging, assembly, maintenance and the quality department. This is the standard labor cost versus actual labor cost by the department. You can see that comparison also. This is the labor cost variance by the department. So this is the actual number and this was the percentage. Okay. Now here standard production cost versus actual material uses by the department. Again you can filter the data let's say by month if you want or you can filter the data by plant if you want to see for plant A, plant B or plant C. So it will give you the complete view and you can quick see the analysis for a particular plant, for a particular shift or for a particular line. Now next we have the plant label analysis just click here this is the plant label analysis wherein we are showing the material variance by the plant. So we have three plant we can see that percentage here this is the total production cost variance by the plant we can see that here and this is the standard material uses versus actual material uses by the plant we can see that comparison here as well as we are showing the standard labor cost versus actual labor cost by the plant so we, you can see where we have the more gap you can easily find that now coming to the variance analysis here we are showing the different type of variance analysis by the plant so we have the production cost variance percentage this is the material variance percentage by the line and this is the material uses variance by the department and this is the labor cost variance by the shift also so maximum variance is in the shift one we can see that in the last we are showing one monthly trend also so you can see the month on month material variance percentage and the total production cost variance here as well as the labor cost uh, variance percentage here and we are showing the standard labor cost versus actual labor cost by the month so you can see that analysis if you want to see for a particular plant you can just click here now this whole trend will be changed to that selected plant only or if you want to see a particular shift for that particular plant you can see that also all right now let me remove this now i will quickly show you the data also and how you can update your data and how you can use this dashboard because this is a ready to use dashboard now let me go to the file and options and go to the advanced and just scroll it down and here we have one option that is so seed tabs that is available under the display option for this workbook just check this and click on ok now we can see all the worksheets are appearing at bottom till here now we have the next sheet that is called data here we have all the data so first column is the id column then we have date product plant line shift department 
then here we are showing some kind of cost also like this is the standard labor cost actual labor cost then standard material uses this is the actual material uses then here we have the standard production cost actual production cost then we are taking the variance labor variance material uses variance and this is the total production cost variance we have created two formulas also here that is one is the tax function for the month we just have used tax with the date column we have the first date column here second column this one and then we are using the mmm thrice to get the first three letter of the month then we are using here year function to get the year okay now on the basis of this data we have created several pivot tables here so if i come to the extreme left side we have put here overview that means these all the pivot tables for the overview page for this page okay here we are showing the total production cost variance this is the actual labor cost variance this is the actual material cost variance so we have that all the columns available here and then we have created some calculations also for example cost variance so if i come to the pivot table analyze and come to the field list item and here just click on the calculated field you can see we have created some calculation for the labor variance we just have created the labor variance divided by standard labor cost similarly for the material uses we have created material uses variance divided by standard material uses then the next is the production cost variance here total production cost variance divided by standard production cost so this is what we have used and once they are created then we just have put in the percentage form here and now we are showing this information by line by shift then we are showing here by department we are showing it here by plant the comparison of these two then we have created the pivot table for the next page which is department analysis this one right here we have four different charts so for four different chart we have created four different pivot tables you can see all right so that is how we have created these all the charts on the basis of these pivot tables so first create the pivot table and then create the charts once your pivot table is ready then you can easily create the chart for example this pivot table is ready then you can simply go to the insert and you can insert line chart so let me take the line chart from here this one and let's say i'm taking this line with marker so you can create the chart like this now here we have created this kind of line chart if you want to create this stylish line chart you can simply do some formatting so let's say uh, i'm selecting this chart go to the pivot chart analyze and field buttons and just say hide all so it will remove all the extra buttons we don't need the grid lines and the legend here so let them remove now just select this right click go to the format data series fill and line and let's take some dark color let's say i'm taking this color and then you can make the line smooth it if you want to reduce the width of the line just take the 1.5 go to the marker marker option built in and take around six fill you can take some solid fill or you can fill the same color also it's up to you if you want to fill like this you can fill this or you can fill some kind of white color also in the marker fill let's take white color so you can customize it as you want and uh, let's say border i want to take the sol solid border the same color so you can create in this format also all right so you can decide how you want to create and uh, you can further format this as you want so let's say i want to take 1.5 here so now it is looking good if you want to add the lines like we have added here these small lines you can do that also so let me explain you here what we can do just click and go to this plus button and just add the error bars okay so we can see the error bars just click on the error bar right click go to the format error bar just close this here we will take the minus only and then go to the percent and just take here 100 so it will create the error bar for the 100 percent so we can see the error bars here just click on the error bars go to the fill and here just take the solid line and just take the light color something like this all right then if you want to make this 3d marker just go to the format save effects v1 and just take this v1 so this will look like little 3d impact and just right click here go to the add data label 
So we can see the data labels, right click on the data label, go to the format data label and move them above. Go to the home and make this bold and take the black color. All right, you can put the chart title and your chart is ready. This is similar to this one. Now, if you want to learn more about this kind of dashboard, how to create these type of cards, how to create these type of designs and how to create the pivot table from the scratch, you can join our course. We have given the link in the video description box. Inside that course, we have explained each and everything from the scratch, how to create the pivot table and how to create the calculated field, then how to create the pivot chart and how to create the dashboards. All right, friends. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for the watching.